do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So I was working on this project recently and trying to get it to work and I got it to work. And basically what it is, we're doing a Raspberry Pi. I'm using uh, the Pi 5 version running UDP BD server. And my Pi has a thumb drive connected to it that has my PS2 games on there. And I have an ethernet cord from the PS2 to the Raspberry Pi 5 and it's running the server and using a compatible build of OPL on the PS2 that's running or that, that is compatible with the UDP BD server, you can load games over the network. It's pretty fast and it's pretty cool. So let me show you how I got the working if, if for anyone out there that's interested in how to do this setup. So the first thing is, like I said, I have my thumb drive connected. So here it is. I have my games in DVD folders and that's nothing special there. And just in case I did set up a static IP address for my Raspberry Pi 5, easiest method is you can go to like advanced options and go to like you know, edit connections, add your ethernet connection. So here's my ethernet connection that's wired to my PS2 and IPv4 settings. You know, when you go through the wizard, for example, this is the address I have set up 192.168.1.20. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go ahead and get the files, right? So you go to the GitHub. I have a link in the video's description to the GitHub. Here it is. Let's go ahead and download the source code, download the zip. Let's go to the folder here. I'm gonna right click, extract here. Let's go into that folder and let's do some stuff. So go to tools, open current folder in terminal. Okay, so uh, one thing to get something out of the way is when you have your thumb drive plugged in to your Raspberry Pi 5, you need to know what is the, I don't know what you call it uh, in Linux terms, a reference to it. So I know it is, I think it's LSBLK. Enter, and what's important here is I see it has the name of SDA uh, for my disk. This is my PS2 thumb drive, so SDA um, will work for, uh, you'll see later in the tutorial. So now we go back and type in LS. This is the folder I'm in. So let's go ahead and build the file. So I'm gonna say make, press enter. If your Raspberry Pi is not able to compile stuff, then you need to have like a, the appropriate Raspberry Pi uh, compiler installed. So that's outside of purposes of this tutorial. So if you have any issues, make sure you do that uh, and then you can continue. Okay, so now I do LS again and we have this new uh, executable, basically the UDP BD dash server. So here's the syntax for it. I have it in my history to save some time here. Let me just browse for it real quick. Here we go. So what you do is you do sudo space dot forward slash UDP BD dash server space forward slash dev forward slash SDA. Press enter. Okay, so that that looks good so far. So what I'm going to do here is let's go to my uh, PS2 screen real quick. Uh, here we go. And let's resize this real quick here like that. And let's turn on the audio. All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to browse my free McBoot and I'm going to go to my build here for OPL. That is UDP BD compatible. Okay. And let me show you my settings just in case for someone who's curious in the future. So what we're going to do here is you go to BDM start mode and I have it under manual for block devices. USB is on. Everything else is off basically. So that's okay there. And then for network settings, it doesn't really matter. Um, you could set up a static IP address, but the program itself is hard coded to 192.168.0.10. But that's what I have set up just in case. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Um, so there's, there's that. Save my changes there and press X and here's my games. So let's go ahead and run the Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And on the Raspberry Pi side, we see that it is working properly. So that's cool. So this is just another another tool that gamers can do if they want to play, you know, PS2 games. Um, you know, maybe you have a Linux machine. So that's an easy way of doing this. You don't have to do any kind of SMB share. You know, you don't have to do any any of that kind of stuff. Uh, this is just simplifies that whole process, basically. All right, let's do some quick gameplay here. So definitely playing games over the Ethernet is the best, especially if you have a slim. You see that everything works fine. 
So that's today's PS2 related tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions and comment here on the YouTube page, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.